Uh, I'm Ebs. Um, I recently gave birth to a toaster. Uh, this talk is unfortunately not about that. Um, I'm going to try and convince you that you need a budget. Um, and so when a lot of people think about budgets or managing their money, uh, they get really afraid of like really hard rules and deadlines and a lot of like guilt. Um, but I want you to sort of relax. I want you to be stress-free. We're going to talk about not how to like stick to like an exact budget, but more about how to prioritize your life um, and get, um, get what you want out of your money and your lifestyle. So I'm going to be talking about something called You Need a Budget or, or YNAB. It is both a philosophy and a piece of software. Um, I'm first going to talk about this, the philosophy, and then I'll kind of like run through the software. The software is kind of optional, but most the, the most important thing is, is sort of the philosophy. So there are four rules. Um, rule one is to give every dollar a job. And so what I mean by this is a lot of people will try and create a budget by looking at things after the fact, where you'll look at your reports and you'll say, like, oh, I spent so much money on eating out. I really need to change my behavior. Instead of taking this sort of reactive approach, you can take a proactive approach. And so um, if you get paid a certain amount, what you want to do is take all of the dollars you actually have right now and assign them to categories or jobs uh, in terms of your own personal priorities. Um, and so what this means is, say you get paid $2,000. You would then take that $2,000 and you would split it up into categories according to what you need to do to meet your immediate obligations and the things you want to do in your life. Um, so obviously some of those things might be like paying rent, um, eating, those are pretty important things. Um, but you also have other expenses, you have other things you want to do with your life and do with your money. So once you meet those immediate obligations, you want to start putting money towards things that you enjoy, whether it's going out. Um, and having you know time with your significant other, um, going out for you know dates, movie nights, whatever, going to concerts, that sort of thing. So this is also called envelope budgeting, um, and it stems from when people would take actual physical dollars and put them in envelopes that had a category written on them, um, and then when it came time to pay that bill, they would open the envelope and use the money inside uh, for that expense. Um, and so this is the same thing, but just taken into the 21st century. Um, and so the point here is to actually come up with your own categories and order them in terms of your actual priorities. So things like um, rent are pretty important. If you don't have a house to live in um, or if you don't have food to eat, things are going to become difficult. But the things that you enjoy in life are also really important. And so making sure that you are not simply just like trying to save money or trying to budget by restricting yourself, but rather by prioritizing the things you want to do um, is what this is all about. So I want to call out this thing at the end, this fun money, which is, was here sort of at the end of the budget. That's really the important thing. So being able to set aside money for stuff that you actually want to do is the thing that's important. And by taking this approach, you might realize that the $3 or the $5 or whatever you spend on coffee every day is actually not important compared to the other things that are priorities in your life. So rule number two is to embrace your true expenses. Um, and so these sort of things are things that you may not think about but are actually going to come up. And they kind of fall into two categories. One is predictable and the other is unpredictable but inevitable. So examples of predictable expenses are things like your auto insurance. A lot of people pay their auto insurance like every six months or every year, but they don't actually think about it until like the month it's due. And so you have to kind of scramble and pull your money together to pay that you know, several hundred dollars expense. Instead of, instead of thinking about it then, if you start thinking about it now and budgeting for it, you can set aside a little bit every month, um, and by the time it comes, you'll have dollars just waiting to do their job and pay that expense. Uh, the other category is sort of unpredictable but inevitable. Um, and so these are things like extra spending around holidays or auto maintenance, things like that, where we know tires don't last forever, but we don't actually set aside money to buy new tires proactively. Um, we know that holidays come around, we want to buy gifts for people, but we kind of end up scrambling to do that when that time comes around. So these are unpredictable but inevitable expenses. Other examples are things like your gas bill might go up in the winter. So be proactive and set aside a little bit more money during the summer months. So during the winter months, you have dollars waiting for you. Um, and don't be afraid to think long term. So if you want to take a vacation in two or three years time with your entire family, start budgeting for that now. 
And if that's truly a priority for you, it will help you to actually cut out expenses that you don't care about today. Um, but because you're not thinking long term, you might think that, hey, it's great, I have all this money now, I can spend it when you're not really budgeting for the long term. So rule number three is roll with the punches. Um, nothing ever goes perfectly, and that's totally okay. So this is an example where you might budget uh, $80 for gas for the month. Um, or sorry, you might budget $60 for gas for the month, but you might spend 80. And that's okay. So instead of freaking out and trying to scramble, all you have to do is move money from one category to the other, preferably a category that's you know a, of a lower priority, or you can take a little bit from multiple categories and put them into your gas category. So those shoes that you wanted to buy, um, maybe you have to wait next month so that you can cover your gas bill this month. Rule number four uh, is age your money. And so rule number four is not really a rule, it's kind of a thing you get for free if you follow rules one, two, and three. But the idea is that you can, um, by following this approach, you can break the sort of paycheck to paycheck cycle. Um, you can plan for your retirement, you can plan for the things you wanna do. Um, and all about, what this is about living off of last month's paycheck. So instead of taking the paycheck that you got today and putting it towards you know, expenses that are about to immediately happen, if you can take paychecks that you got a month ago and put them towards the things that you have now, that's even better. And so by following this approach, you'll build up a stockpile of money, money that's just waiting to do a job, jobs that you have prioritized based on your own personal values, um, and your life will be a lot more relaxed and a lot happier. Um, those were things I said. <laughs> so <laughs> this will help you be stress-free. Um, I've been doing this for the last couple of years. It's been a really transformative experience. Um, and so now I'd like to talk a little bit about the software. You don't have to use it. I don't have any stake in this company, but it is a fantastic piece of software that I can highly recommend. So you need a budget.com. It looks like this. Uh, so this would be somebody's budget. Um, you have a ton of categories that are kind of in category groups. The top is sort of your immediate obligations, things you need to live, things you need in order to keep surviving. Um, going down a little bit, you've got things like your true expenses. And what you do is you budget a little bit of money um, into each of these categories according to your own priorities, and you want to give every dollar you have a job in one of these categories. Um, when transactions come in through either your credit card, your debit card, or you can even deal with cash, um, you would simply categorize that transaction according to one of your categories and will take dollars out of that category um, and apply them to that transaction. YNAB can also help you with setting goals. So you can say, I want to save $500 for my vacation by December of 2018. Um, and it will tell you how much per month you need to set aside to meet that goal. And it will also show you how far along you are and how much more you need to go. You can also handle things like um, you know, your 401k, your Roth IRA, car loans, other assets or liabilities. And this is more for tracking. They have a whole fantastic suite of reports that you can run to see sort of how much you're spending um, and your trends over time and things like that. So hopefully I've convinced you that you need a budget. Thank you.